damn. The show sure is a lot of niggas in the rap game getting robbed and shot lately. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, 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 damn, son, where'd you find this? Real talk. Tuned into Real Talk Media. Uh, Real Talk Media. Real Talk Media. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die. What's going on, YouTube? This your boy, Real Talk. You now tuned into Real Talk Media. Got something different to talk about today, boy. So a lot of y'all know the rapper by the name of Q Money. And if you don't know who Q Money is, this him. Work, work, show me, you get All right, so the other day, Slim was out there in Cleveland at this little bar grill type joint trying to film a video in the parking lot. And I say a little bit after the video, you know how niggas be chilling in the parking lot after it's over, like it's the after hours slash party and shit. Just kicking it, hollering at the bitches, doing what they do. So a little while later, while they out there, niggas get to fighting. Boom, boom. So then a nigga run over there trying to break up the fight, separate shit. Motherfucker pull out the pistol and get the bus and boom, boom, boom. Shot like seven people or something like that. Three of them in critical condition. Hold on. Check this out. Due to a mass shooting on Cleveland's east side. Seven people were injured in the hail of gunfire that happened in the parking lot outside a bar. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg joins us live with surveillance video showing the aftermath of the shooting. Well, the shooting happened as a local rapper was apparently filming part of a music video in the parking lot of the bar where outside the shooting happened, and it ended with three people in critical condition. It be so much fun in the hood. I love, I love the hood. As part of a music video, local artist Q Money was rapping about life on the streets. Not long after, his song's subject matter came to life. Surveillance video captured people scattering after more than a dozen gunshots tore into the crowd of people gathered in the parking lot of an east side bar. One of the people captured on surveillance appears to be holding a gun. According to Cleveland police, the shooting happened after a man tried to break up a fight between two women. That's when witnesses say another man started to open fire. Police say one of the shooters fired multiple shots at a man who lay on the ground wounded. In total, seven people were shot. Three of them were seriously wounded and remain in critical condition. During a press conference unveiling the police department's new community engagement officers, Chief Calvin Williams briefly touched on the early morning shooting. This is one component of community engagement for the division. Uh, this isn't a strategy to solve every problem that we have uh, as a city. Uh, this is uh, what these guys do to connect our officers to the community and hopefully you know, one of those persons that's at a community meeting that these guys meet at the gas station or at the rec center are going to give them information about things like, you know, that happened last night. Q Money posted this video to Instagram, showing him filming parts of a new music video at the bar's parking lot. Bar staff told us they did not have permission to be there. 90 minutes after that video was posted, the lights and cameras were replaced by crime scene tape and evidence markers. And according to a Cleveland police report, they also did recover a firearm at the scene. So far, no arrests have been made and no suspects have been publicly identified. Niggas just go out there to be in the video and chill, holler at some bitches, smoke a little weed. Now, motherfucker, hey, you know what? I ain't never understood how I could be so many bitches in one place and you could still see another nigga that you want to fight. If that nigga don't owe you no money, that nigga ain't violated your family, that nigga, man, that should be stupid to me. It be all these bitches out here, but you only see another nigga to fight. Anyway, that's basically what happened. When I find out a little bit more, I get back with y'all. It's been a busy ass week, couple of weeks, month, whatever you want to call it in the rap though. Motherfucker Takashi said he didn't got robbed and beat up, even though I still think it's fake or set up by the man. We ain't even about to get in there. I did a video on that already. The homie Sue Surf, aka Battle Rap Legend, Sue Surf then got shot the fuck up. Boom gang and shot himself. I think he shot himself, but he said he didn't got shot the fuck up. I done posted a video about that. Man, it's a lot going on. Y'all need to scroll this channel some more. Drop a comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this. I'm on Twitter at Real Talk Blogs. I'm on Instagram at Real Talk Blogger. <laughs> Yo, this shit crazy. I'm out. All it takes is a beat, then I start snapping. Back to rapping. Y'all been acting like it's about fashion. Rocking them skinny jeans and them purses. Niggas be dressing like faggots. Doing gay ass dances, but ain't saying shit when they rhyme. But if the beat's something they can dance to, then they think it's something they like. It blow my mind. These niggas be lying like they did crime, or they did time like I did mine. You can look me up in 844-8375. But I got caught because I wasn't that smart as a nigga first thought. And my code beats talk, but I still go hard. What the fuck you go? We can take it outside. I'm too fucked up, boy. Never perfection. Never stress.